control surface balancing for the DHC2 beaver, the aileron. Let's get started. The equipment you'll need is a repair manual, measuring tape, fish scale, balancing mandrels, ruler, and a height guide. Let's begin. Now that you've set up your balancing mandrels, secure your aileron to the mandrels using suitable bolts. You then need to measure from the base of the mandrels to the hinge point. Now measure from your hinge line to your trailing edge. Now set up your height guide. Lift the trailing edge with your fish scale and take your measured reading. Now measure from your hinge line to the heaviest section of the weight. Now it's time to do some calculations. First minus your goal weight from your measured weight. Then multiply that number by the distance from your hinge line to your trailing edge. You then divide that number by the distance from hinge line to the heaviest point of your weight. The resulting number is how much weight must be added to balance the aileron. The first way you can add weight is by molding nose caps to put on the existing weight. The trick to making these nose caps is to heat the mold up enough so that the molten lead does not cool before filling the mold completely. This is usually a two-person operation. Now that the lead has cooled, it's time to take the nose cap out of the mold. With the cap now out of the mold, it's time to sand away any excess lead. Finish shaping your nose cap by hand using a file. Now drill a hole in the tip of the nose cap. We are now ready to attach our nose caps. Put your steel threaded insert in your existing weight. Put your nose caps together and bolt them on the front of the weight. We are now ready for primer. Casting a new weight. You must now make a mold, or in this case, repair an existing mold using plaster of Paris. Now using an oven, you must bake out any moisture that is in the mold. While waiting for your molds to dry, why not sandblast the support arm? There can be no paint or primer on the arm you intend to cast the weight to. With the molds now dry, you must clean them up by hand using a little sandpaper. With your support arm, 
and drain hole rod in place. Clamp your mold together. We are now ready to pour in our molten lead and cast a new weight. Now that the lead has cooled, we are ready to take it out of the mold. With our weight now out of the mold, we must first remove the drain hole rod. Next we head to the bandsaw to cut off any large chunks of excess lead. As you can see, the lead is extremely soft and easily cut by the bandsaw. We now head over to the belt sander to remove any more excess lead and start shaping our weight. Finish shaping the weight by hand using a file. When this is done, you are ready to prime and paint. And you're done.